BTEC Applied Science Unit 3 Diffusion Experiments. There's a couple of experiments you should know. Now the first one, very very simple. If you get a, a Petri dish full of water and you drop a little uh, potassium permanganate crystal, this little purple crystal in the middle, and you watch what happens as the purple dye spreads and fills the water. How long does it take for all of the water to change colour? That could be your dependent variable. What independent variables could you investigate the effect of changing? Perhaps the temperature of the water? The size of the dish? This is a more common experiment. I think it's important that you should know this one. These blocks of jelly, they are jelly uh, but they contain phenolphthalein. You should remember phenolphthalein from when you did titrations in the first year. Basically, it's an indicator and it starts off purple, but when it goes in acid, it becomes clear. So if I put these jelly blocks in acid, they will become clear because this indicator will turn clear from purple to clear. And after a certain time, uh, all of the cubes eventually will change colour, they'll become clear, they won't be purple anymore. Now, uh, one important dependent variable is the percentage of the cube that has changed colour. If I put the cubes in acid for a certain amount of time, the same amount of time, because that would be a controlled variable, then it's the percentage of them which has changed colour. There are several independent variables that you could look at the effect of, okay? Now, one very important independent variable is the surface area to volume ratio. Not just the surface area, I mean, a, a bigger cube will have a bigger surface area, but it will also have a bigger volume. What's important is the surface area divided by the volume. That's the surface area to volume ratio. And if it's a cube, you should be able to measure that pretty easily. And a larger cube actually has a smaller ratio. The ratio of its surface area to volume is smaller when the cube gets bigger. Okay, if you do this experiment, and my classes will definitely do it, then if the surface area to volume ratio is bigger, then a bigger percentage of the cube will have changed colour. In other words, the diffusion of the acid into the block will be, there'll be more diffusion, the rate of diffusion will be bigger. So a smaller cube, a smaller cube means a bigger percentage of the cube diffusion will happen into a bigger percentage of the cube. In biology, this is important because uh, the cells in your body, stuff diffuses into the cells, I mean, particularly oxygen. And this is why our body cells are small. If the cells weren't small, then the rate of diffusion into the center of the cell wouldn't be big enough, okay? Uh, so a small cell is like a small cube and the oxygen can diffuse into the cell efficiently and get to the center of the cell.